The next presentation presentation is held by um, Mr. Evaldas uh, Narusis. I hope the pronunciation was correct. Um, yeah. Green Boats uh, Lithuania is nearly five years uh, in the business of electric driven ships and technologies, ships and boats uh, retrofit possibilities. As partner in our Common Elmer project, Green Boats has uh, the res responsibility to build one of three demo e-boats. <coughs> um, this one, uh, while we'll talk about, um, is focused of the restoration and electrification of an X lifeboat. Uh, Evaldas is engineer at uh, Green Boats and presents us some interesting technical specs um, of the used components and test results of the first uh, test drive of the electrification of the boat. And after his presentation, we have a little entertaining video. So um, enjoy the presentation and Evaldas, um, the screen is yours. Hey, uh, I am Evaldas and uh, I will show you uh, about our project. Uh, as uh, Mario told, we are uh, collaborating on uh, Elmar project and our idea is to uh, retrofit X lifeboat to, to 12 seat passenger uh, recreational boat. It will uh, have a small cabin and big open deck and I will tell more about the uh, electrical part. Okay, uh, all system consists of motor, it's uh, 50, 28 kilowatt uh, controller, motor controller, it's, uh, it can run motors up to 60 kilowatt and the battery capacity is 60 kilowatt hours and our charger is uh, 3.3 kilowatt and the system has as well battery management system and some automation. Okay, uh, let's uh, more about the motor. Uh, motor is uh, in nowadays very popular permanent magnet motor. It's low voltage. It, it can uh, run up to 100 volt and can draw uh, continuously up to 400 amps. But uh, as we did uh, some uh, sea trials, we see that 100 amps is maximum what what we need okay and so the maximum rpm is 7000 and uh, we are using maximum 2000 rpm and it's recommended it's uh, not recommended but we can't reach the temperature of 120 degrees because at that temperature magnets will degrade and lose the power and then uh, we need to change the magnets and the motor has liquid cooling possibility but for now we don't use any cooling and after the sea trials we see that temperature without any cooling was 60 70 degrees so we will see later maybe maybe we will uh, install some cooling okay the motor manufacturer recommended to use the MCSO M drive 500 uh, controller and we choose it this uh, controller it can run motors from 30 to 120 volts and can give 500 amps continuously uh, has can open interface to do some adjustments configurations and to see all data online and it also has liquid cooling possibility but uh, we don't using and after sea trials the the controller was only just a little bit warm so maybe something 30 degrees not more okay and uh, our main uh, power storage is made of Tesla battery modules. Uh, the, the on the picture is shown one module. Uh, one module has 
is made of uh, Panasonic standard lithium cells. Here you can see 74 parallel cells connected, and there is six series of, the, of those uh, parallel cells. And there is some uh, BMS board installed here, and there's from each uh, of the six packs uh, goes wires to the BMS board. As well, there is uh, two temperature sensors. And there's one also one important thing. Each cell has tiny uh, protection fuse in case uh, there is too much current or something, something uh, foul. The fuse blows away to protect the cell. Okay. And uh, we are uh, using this uh, configuration. We connected three packs in series, and those uh, three series connected in four groups in parallel. In this combina combination, we got. 75.6 uh, volts at the fully charged state. And uh, if we did discharge up to zero, zero level, it's uh, about 60 volts. It's about 60 volts. Okay. And we can put uh, 90, 930 amps maximum and charge uh, as well, but it's theoretical. We don't need that much. Uh, we just uh, we ju just need lots of uh, lot of uh, of uh, we need longer range, but not the more power. Okay. Here is uh, one important part of our BMS uh, system. This was. Uh, 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 manufactured from our colleagues from Quaypedo University. It's based on REM microcontroller. It has four inputs and output channels. Uh, with that, we can control our charger and drive and uh, protect our battery from from all kind of uh, of uh, faults to not overcharge to not, not too much discharge, and we can equalize each cell individually to keep uh, same uh, voltages and uh, do not overheat and so on. Uh, here we can see the user interface of, of this BMS port. We got the charger information window, uh, the battery, and the motor. Uh, as well, we can uh, check and monitor uh, some information. We can log. Uh, we can log all all data in USB drive. We can monitor voltages, currents, everything, capacity. Uh, we can do many configurations for all system, for all warnings, for all alarms. Uh, we can enable disable balancing. And we're still developing some options that uh, is needed. On this window, we can see uh, the cell cell voltages. We can see here that we got 12 modules, and we can see each of six cells uh, the voltages we can monitor. It's the most important thing with lithium cells. It's to have Nice uh, balance, balance it. cells to that don't don't uh, don't damage uh, the the battery in case of overcharge or over discharge. Okay, and there is some automation, but this is with that system we did uh, we did C trial, but uh, now we are improving it and we, it will be microcontroller operated to have more flexibility and uh, and to have possibility to control uh, everything remotely from from the shore in case 
And okay, the results after the first C trial, this is the typical power versus speed relation. We can see that our the our optimal speed is something about five knots because at that speed we are using something 1.5 kilowatts of the power but in case we increase speed just a one knot we start using three kilowatts it's double that much okay next graph is if uh, is um, according to them motor revolutions uh, i need to mention that our propeller spins um, has a ratio of 3 is so if we want we, if we want to know the propeller revolutions we need to divide uh, in 3 so our cruising speed is something about 500 re revolutions per per minute of the proper and according to this data we did some estimations and it's uh, yeah it's uh, it's just that theoretical we don't we did not test it yet in practical but it looks like if we go something about five knots we can have range about 150 nautical miles if we go faster so this range decreases and the same with the time so if we go about five knots we get have something about 40 hours uh, of sailing time this is i think more than enough but as i told that we need to test it in practical how it's because this is estimate only estimation Okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, and now it would be nice to see the our video.